Design Paradigm Kids, I hope in my heart that it's going well. Come join me for today's lesson. Welcome to the Paradigm Kids video class. Hi friends, many of us have this idea that floods are just too much water around your house. But that's wrong. Flooding is a lot more than that. It is a natural disaster. It is extremely dangerous and has the potential to wipe away an entire city and do damage to life and property. What is a flood? It is a natural event where a piece of land that is usually dry land suddenly gets flooded underwater. When floods happen in an area that people live, the water carries along objects like houses, bridges, cars, furniture and even people. It can wipe away farms, trees and many more heavy items. In this lesson, we shall see more about what causes flooding, some effects of floods and what we can do before, during and after floods. Let's discuss what causes floods. Each time there are more rain than the drainage system can take, there can be floods. Rivers can overflow their banks to cause flooding. This happens when there is more water upstream than usual. And as it flows downstream to the low-lying areas, there is a burst and water gets into the land. Sea water can be carried by massive winds and hurricanes onto dry coastal lands and can cause floods. In many cold regions, heavy snow over the winter usually stays unmelted for some time. There are also mountains that have ice on top of them. Sometimes the ice suddenly melts when the temperature rises, resulting in massive movement of water into places that are usually dry. This is usually called a snow melt flood. What is the effect of floods? Floods can have devastating consequences and can have effects on the economy, environment and people. During floods, roads, bridges, farms, houses and automobiles are destroyed. People become homeless. Additionally, the government deploys firemen, police and other emergency apparatus to help the affected. All these come at a heavy cost to people and the government. It usually takes years for affected communities to be rebuilt and businesses to go back to normal. The environment also suffers when floods happen. Chemicals and other hazardous substances end up in the water and eventually contaminates the water. Many people and animals have died in flash floods. Many more are injured and others made homeless. Water supply and electricity are disrupted and people struggle and suffer as a result. Sometimes there is no warning of flash floods and that is why it is important to think of them and prepare for them before they happen. Here are a few things you can do before the floods happen. Know about your local relief centers and evacuation routes. Keep emergency numbers and important information as well as emergency supplies, kits and first aid items. During the floods, as soon as they start, be quick and ensure that everyone is safe by leaving the house to a higher ground. Turn off all electrical appliances and gas if there is a bit of time. Leave the area before it gets too late. Do not drive through water as moving water can sweep you away. Stay away from power lines or broken power transmission cables. After the floods. Make sure you have permission from emergency officers to get back inside your house. Keep all power and electrical appliance off until the house is cleaned up properly and electrical personnel has confirmed that it is okay to put them on. Make sure you have photographs or a record of all the damage, as it may be needed for insurance claims. It is very important to know each natural disaster and what to do when it happens. In our next lesson, we will discuss blizzards and heatwave safety. Thank you for learning with me, Paradigm Kids. Please remember to always share what you have learned with everyone around you. See you next time.